Welcome back to MathMind. For today's video, let's look to solve a fraction that is given in third form. Questions like these are fairly common in math tournaments, and the approach is usually to find a common thread that allows us to do some form of simplification. When we take a closer look at this expression, we notice that 3 and square root 5 are the common themes throughout the expression, where 9 can be expressed as 3 square and 6 can be expressed as 3 times 2. So let's go ahead and make use of this. And let's start by focusing on just the denominator. To make things easier, I have separated the denominator into a blue color portion and a red color portion. Let's start by focusing on the red color part. I'm going to go ahead and write this out. I have 2 multiplied by the square root of 14 minus 6 times the square root of 5. Keep in mind, we are always trying to express things in terms of 3 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and express 14 as 9 plus 5. If I do that, then the expression can be written as 2 multiplied by the square root of 9 plus 5 minus 6 times square root of 5. With 9, I can obviously express that as 3 square, and for the number 5, I can express that as the square of square root 5. As for 6 times square root 5, I'm going to go ahead and express that as 2 times 3 times the square root of 5. And if I do that, then this expression can be conveniently identified as a square minus 2ab plus b square. In other words, this part can be expressed as 2 times the square root of 3 minus square root of 5 square. From here, square root and square will cancel each other. So, in the end, this part of the expression will be 2 times 3 minus the square root of 5. We have taken care of the red color part, so now let's bring in the blue color part and fuse both of them together. So what I have now is, on the denominator, I have 9 minus 3 square root 5 plus 2 multiplied by 3 minus square root 5 with this later part being the one that we derive from the red color portion. If we go ahead and simplify that, then what we have is square root of 9 minus 3 square root 5 plus 6 minus 2 square root 5. The whole expression itself can be expressed as 15 minus 5 square root of 5. Let's go ahead and take out 5. So now I have 5 times 3 minus square root of 5 bracket. With that, I can break this up and express that as 5 multiply by the square root of 3 minus 5. And that's what we got from the simplification of the denominator. We're now ready to deal with the entire fraction. So let me go ahead now to write out both the numerator and the denominator. So what I have now is the square root of 3 minus square root of 5 over square root 5 multiplied by square root of 3 minus square root of 5. From here on, things will be very simple. We can just cancel this part right here. And what we now have is 1 over square root of 5. And what is left is the formality of the rationalization. So that will be equal to square root 5 over 5. That's the answer for today's question. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.